Well, hello there. How are you? Good. Come say hi to the webcast. Oh, I see all my friends are on it now. Oh, really? Is it there? You, you'll be able to see yourself on that thing. It all, it, it happened to us actually last year. I flew out to play the Mystic Garden Party in California and uh, I was supposed to get like 1500 bucks. And I, so I bought a flight and I flew out and I was just gonna play the show and fly back the next day. And the, the festival went bankrupt and I didn't get paid. And I paid like $700 to get out there or something. So I was like, we in we weekend warrior mode when I went out there, but all of a sudden something shifted in me, and we canceled my flight home and booked a nine day or eight nine show eight day tour in twelve hours from a hotel room with Facebook, yeah. and we called it Hibby Fiasco Rides again, and and that was that was the birth, and we sat Chad and Liz and I sat in a hotel room right outside of that festival and and got the room for an extra day and booked this week long tour, and. We, we called it Hippie Fiasco Rides Again right out of the gate. And the first gig on Tuesday was uh, in Chico. And this guy came comes up to us after the show and was like, I make t-shirts for a living, come to my shop. And we went there and we left the first night of the tour with Hippie Fiasco t-shirts. The second night of the tour, uh, that poster was designed, actually that one was designed for it in the, this... Uh, there was a fiasco at this artist's house who ended up designing Dear Puppeteer album artwork. And it was Hippie Fiasco Rides Again with Nathan Moore, that first one with the pig, all the cell phone is calls we were is? making. Yeah. I thought it was a caterpillar. <clears throat> well, it's, 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 it's a million things. <laughs> but she, uh, <coughs> that poster was at my second. So all of a sudden I had like these shirts. I had um, these awesome posters. None of this energy had ever surrounded a Nathan Moore tour ever. People participating, like making art themselves. It had never happened. And I always just, that's what I always wanted was to be a part of something that had some vibrancy and it felt like it was not just me and it was something we were all doing together. And it just, it was so beautiful. It like was the, my favorite week of touring in my life. And ever since that week, the three of us have been like, we got a fiasco again sometime. So, when I flew out this time, we left a week at the end of my actual tour opening for ALO to Fiasco, which was no book gigs, just see what we get. And we did that week, but we were like, this isn't the magic. Because the other one was like this great leap of faith. Mm. And uh, so we canceled my flight home again and decided to do a four-month version that covered all of America. It's wild. And, that, and we're in the middle of it now. It's awesome. That's it. <laughs> and it's so hard to tell that story in 30 seconds, which we have to do every day. Like as we're trying to turn people on, we're trying to build it and grow it and get people yeah, to understand what it is. On. Exactly. And you've heard about it. We've talked to you about it. We've given you a card. You still didn't get it. Yeah. And so that's what we've been spending the week here doing.